New tonight at 5, Criminal Acts at Kennywood. A man accused of inappropriately touching two girls, a 14 and 15 year old. Yeah, and it's a frightening allegation, especially for parents. And Channel 11's Joe Arena went to Kennywood to ask the park about visitor safety as he learns more about this case. It's terrible. I mean, kids go there to have fun and that kind of just ruins it for everyone. That's how people are feeling tonight after the news of the arrest of a man who police say touched two girls on a ride here at Kennywood on Tuesday. Police say the girls, 14 and 15 years old, were on the Aero 360 ride when 22-year-old Miguel Moises Carrillo Marcos touched them. According to the criminal complaint, he sat down next to the girls, then placed his right hand on the mid-thigh of one of the girls with his fingers extending onto her inner thigh. Then, when the other girl moved to sit next to her friend, he touched her in a similar way. People like Kathleen Weiner say the legal system needs to act quickly. Hold them accountable and then find the guy and do whatever they need to do to ensure that it doesn't happen again. The report says at one point, after the girls screamed at him to stop, one of the teens told police she was, quote, fearful for her safety and getting to the point of feeling the need to kick Carrillo Marcos. Shortly after they yelled at him, police say Marcos left. But after they got off the ride, the girls wisely took a picture of him and showed it to police. When Kennywood Public Safety caught up with Marcos in the park, the criminal complaint says he told them he had no identification and after that took off running, blowing through metal detectors, the ticket sales window, and into the parking lot, which is where police say he eventually ran out of breath and stopped in his tracks where he was arrested. Kennywood General Manager Mark Pauls released a statement about what happened at the park, saying in part, we would like to thank the guests for reporting this incident and commend park security staff and West Mifflin police for their swift response to immediately conduct a search, identify the suspect, and bring him into custody. Now, police say Marcos is facing several charges tonight, including two counts of indecent assault of a person under 16 and two counts of harassment and resisting arrest. Coming up tonight, we're going to have more reaction on what police say happened here at this park. In West Mifflin, Joe Arena, Channel 11 News.